So let's move over to Plateau now. I'm going to undo this so that that keyframe comes down to much the same there. And this time we'll do Plateau here at the end. And you can see now that the ends sort of revert back to being exactly the same as Auto. So you might be asking what's the difference between Auto and Plateau. Well, they're very, very similar. One of them is that again, it just snaps. We've got a little bit more leeway. You see how much leeway we have there comparatively speaking to the clamped where pretty much as soon as we move out of that range, it immediately snaps. With the plateau, it'll stay plateauing a little bit more. There's a bit more range in it, but it will just snap across really quickly, unlike the auto tangent, which gives us a lovely fall off. It'll snap. And as we go higher, you can see that it will remain flat as well. So it just has a slightly different functionality in the middle. It tries to remain flatter a little bit more than the auto, which will tend to like keep it a little bit more give on that end. So the plateau and the auto are very similar, just that we'll get this sort of an effect happening with the, the plateau. So I see very little reason not to use auto in that case, because with plateau, we've also got these guys staying always flat on the end. So that's pretty much it. You can see that plateau, clamped and auto are all very similar. Spline just gives us the straight through, always pointing to either side of the keyframe and the last ones will point straight. Linear is a very easy one to get, it's all straight. Flat is very easy, everything is flat all the time. Steps will do that way. And if we go tangent type step next, it does sort of the reverse stepping. We've got plateau, which is the only difference is that it just tries to stay plateaued a little bit more and suddenly snaps in that threshold area. 